Hello. Hello. I've had lots of questions from people asking, with your no floats method, how you carry more than two colours. Yeah, um, you've been trying to catch up on the um, YouTube yes. comments because um, we have got behind. Because uh, we do get a lot of comments, don't we? I mean, every yeah, day yeah. we're getting we comments. We are behind answering them personally. We get comments on your TikTok, on my Instagram, on YouTube. Where else? Other places as well. So, yeah. Sorry Facebook. about being behind. Uh, but we do try to answer them all eventually. We try to get there. So the question, which it comes up again and again and again, and I do answer it again and again and again. And um, and so there are videos already out there where I talk about what I do. And I would, I'd really like people to watch my colour videos on YouTube. So I've got two videos where I talk about colour on YouTube. And I think I, I do discuss that quite a lot where I say, why would I want more than two colours in a row? Because, you know, two colours in a row is enough for me because it, it does keep me busy. But having said that, on this project here, I have used more than two colours in a row. So let me just, let no, 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 hang on, Joe. Let me take you back to this, right? right? Okay. So this is what I think about, right? This is how my brain works. My brain works in a foreground and a background colour. So the background colour in this case is blue and the foreground colour is cream. Now, I think like that when I'm doing stranded colour work. That's that's how I think. Right. My brain's doing that. So when I come on to doing something like this and if people know the chart and the pattern for this, they'll know that the chart is just a two colour chart. It's a, it's a, got a background colour on the chart, which is brown and on the chart, the foreground colour is a cream but when i decided to knit it i changed color across the row so i've got the background color stays the same across the row but if you look here i'm, I'm knitting the foreground color green and then i'm changing to pink for the flower and then i'm back to the green and then i'm back to pink for the flower so i'm not carrying three colors at any point, I'm only ever carrying two. Okay. So I'm knitting along here with the background color. Uh, it's a dark blue, actually. So I'm knitting the dark blue and I'm carrying the green. And then I'm knitting the green and I'm carrying the background color. And then I get to here. And at this point here, where there's a nice big gap, I take off the green. So I'm not carrying the green anymore and I pick up the pink. So for that section there, I'm carrying the pink and I'm knitting the dark blue. And at this point, I change and I'm knitting the pink and I'm carrying the dark blue. And that goes along there. So I knit the pink, carrying the dark blue, and then I swap to knitting the dark blue and carrying the pink. And there, in the middle of between this and that, I swap from the pink to the green. So in stranded colour work, I could I could I could knit across the row a hundred colours if I wanted, but I'm only ever carrying one colour. I'm only, I've only or I'm only ever knitting with two colours. The knit the colour I'm knitting and the colour I'm carrying, and there's only two. And I just swap. As I go along do the road. Do you mean you swap? Do you mean you break the yarn off? I break the yarn off right. and start the next colour. Add the colour. Now I have put, because people are going to ask how I do that, and there is a video already out there. Don't know where it is. But I there... don't think there's one on YouTube. I think it's on TikTok and Instagram about adding colour Well, if people want to see that and they can't find it, let you know in the comments below and we, we, we will refilm that because the way that I tend to work, um, because it's not like intarsia, if I was knitting backwards and forwards across the row with intarsia, I would knit a colour and then I'd come back and pick that colour up. But you can't do that if you're circular knitting with um, stranded colour work. But what I do get 
is I do get two goes at a colour. So when I join a colour in, I knit one end of the piece. So if I've got a piece that's broken off of yarn, that's broken off, say it's that long of pink, I will knit one half of that pink and I'll leave the other half for when I come back round to it. So if people want to see that, either we'll find it and we'll put it on YouTube for people um, or we'll re refilm it if people let us know that they want to see that in the comments below. Can we below. see the inside of that? Yeah. So you can show where you've cut So, it. well, you can see there's, there's uh, here, you, you know, I'm not carrying that green. That green isn't going across the back here. And here, I'm not carrying the pink. But you might find there's a little bit of pink there where I'm, say, just the end of the pink, I might be. But I'm not carrying the pink. So I've got a few ends. I don't normally have very many ends. But, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm knitting pink there, but I'm not carrying the pink across there. I'm only carrying the two colours, the foreground colour that I'm working and the background colour. But, you know, if you wanted to, you could you could swap the background colour as well or you you know you so or you could have i mean you you could i mean that uh, i've used the same pink probably there and there but you could you know you could you could you be using different green for each leaf or something if you wanted to using this method okay does that answer that are you I happy with so. that um and also we've had loads of people asking about carrying colour on the pearl side um, we have again, ideas. again, it's one that I do regularly, but people are talking about with the no floats method, how I carry colour on the pearl side. And we have we have put it out quite a few times. So if people want to see it, it's there. But for now, I'll just quickly, I think you better be over my shoulder though. Oh no, I'll turn around. You stay there, I'll turn around. So, I'm knitting the... I'm knitting the green so I just knit the green that's just and then I lift the pink which is the carrying color up knit the green and I put that in yarn pink down knit the green and now I'm going to swap to the pink so I'm just going to go there's the pink and now so the green goes down knit green goes up knit green goes down knit well i'm purling not knitting but you get the idea and then i've got to do two more pinks before i change to the green so down up oh and now i'm back on the green so i just knit the green and now I'm carrying the pink, so I go up. And then pink down. And that's it. That's all I do. And um, try try it... not to put any tension on the carrying colour. That's the main thing. And it's the same if you're knitting flat. People have asked that as well. Whether it's exactly the same, yeah. If you're knitting flat or... Oh, I'm knitting flat. I, I don't... If I'm knitting in the round, I'm not ever purling if i can help it i'm you know i might be for a rib but generally it, you know if i'm doing corrugated rib i don't bother i just you know i just have a, a two stitch float for the cor corrugated rib but this is this is flat knitting i am now knitting flat i started off knitting this uh bunny vest um hair i know it's a hair i started knitting it in the in the round yeah and now I'm at the armholes, I can't knit it in the round, so I'm knitting all these pieces as if they're flat, really. So it's in, it's in there's three, three parts now, the back and the two front panels. Now I'm knitting them flat. That's another thing, people keep asking about armholes and necklines. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably, we have done them, but where they are, um, I, I think they're, I know they're on Instagram 
um so that, that's the, 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 the problem the problem that we had let's just let me just explain to people the problem that we have is if you want to do instagram it's yeah. that way and, and if you and tiktok yeah. at portrait and if you want to film something for youtube it's that way so we film something and it goes on somewhere and then people ask on the other place uh you haven't done that and yeah, well we get a bit confused. yeah we don't know what we have getting done old, and what we haven't bad getting old talk for yourself getting scruffy too scruffy i've been painting today oh, i've been in scruffy i've, I've be been the in video. the i've been in the studio painting claudes this morning what was the question? Because I've forgotten already. Because yeah, I'm getting Neck. old. <laughs> Neck yeah. the yes. So, yeah. Again, uh, if you people on YouTube haven't seen it, shout and we'll and we'll do it. And we're specifically, we're talking about how I do my integrated rib on the neck hole and how I do my integrated rib on the arm holes. So if you want to see that, shout and we'll we'll I'll I will do a discussion. We'll do it like a, a 10 minute video for YouTube for that. Is that it for today, Joey? Yes, definitely. Okay, so it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Mrs. Smith. Bye. Thanks. Bye.